Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today we're going to talk about payment gateways, compatible with many open source applications. Now before we even start, don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos, and don't forget to click on the bell icon, this one on the actual right side there, where you can be notified when new videos coming out. Now without any delay, let's go to fondi.eu. This is the payment gateway that I'm going to show you today. It's a new system available in Russia, Ukraine and many, many different countries in Europe. They accept Visa, Mastercard and many other cards as well. It's the only one I can find that is ready and with the actual modern plugins compatible with Magento, OpenCart, WordPress, WooCommerce, Drupal, uh, many others as you can see here, PrestaShop, uh, Virtumat and a lot more. Let's click on the full CMS list where you can actually, uh, let's see, I think I clicked on the wrong one. See if we can find the entire list of the CMSs. Nope. This time it's not connected, but as you can see anyway, it's compatible with many different um, open source applications. They also have a documentation just in case you want to open your own um, online store. And this is the actual uh, test that I've been given access to to show you for this demonstration. Now, without any delay, I'm going to show you how to get started with WooCommerce uh, plugins for Fondy and how you can get paid for your uh, products. So without any delay, let's go back to my uh, open source channel uh, admin for WordPress. Here we go. I just set up a demo shop for you, for you to have a look. And that is an organic store. And it's a full website with all the products already uploaded. Okay. So as you can see, all done here, all the products, all the sh actual shop. So let's go back to the dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do um, at the moment, if I go to WooCommerce and settings, And I go to payments. I only got cash on delivery, on delivery enabled. Now we have got any uh, plugin installed. So I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, go myself to the plugin uh, modules. I'm going to press add new, and I'm going to search for Fondi. Now, if you remember correctly, when I told you about is compatible with WordPress, it's also, of course, compatible with WooCommerce and many other WordPress applications. So let's go back to the plugins so you can actually see it. As you can see, there is a plugin for WooCommerce, a plugin for the uh, paid membership pro payment gateway, the um, content pro payment gateway integration, easy digital download, and and that's it. I think this is, uh, I don't know why it's coming up, but here we go. We go four different plugins. We're going to install the WooCommerce Payment Gateway plugin. I'm going to make many other uh, tutorials on how to use or many different other applications. So I'm going to activate it. Once it's been activated, I'm going back to the WooCommerce settings. Again, payments. There we go. We go payment gateway Fondy. And I'm going to enable. I'm going to disable the cash on delivery. And I'm going to press setup. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to enable the test mode. For the title, I'm going to. Uh, so let's say my organic shop this for the description I'm going to leave it as it is 
Now for the merchant ID and merchant uh, secret key, if we go to the Fondi dashboard, then I'm going to sh uh, explain a little bit the uh, the Fondi dashboard. Okay, I'm going to click on test Fondi where I can find my information. So this is my merchant ID and this is the payment key and the, uh, the credit private key. Okay, so for this, I will need the merchant ID. Uh, where are we? Here we go, merchant ID. And I will need the merchant secret key. Oh, again, secret key. It will be this one here, test. But logically, when you do your own, you will have a different, uh, you know, it will be your own, um, for example, merchant site. So at the moment, it's set to the test from the EU. But when you create your own merchant, you will have your own uh, website here, okay? So once we do that, uh, we're going to, uh, as I said, we are in test mode, but logically you won't be in test mode. You will start in test mode and then you will uh, disable this so you'll be in the real mode, okay? So let's go back on this one here. We're gonna choose the, uh, you know, we're gonna choose to, to have the MasterCard and the Visa logo. The payment type, we, wanna, we have three different options, the built-in form, the in-store payment page, and the redirection. I'm going to leave to in-store payment page. The return page, I'm going to default order page. Of course, here you can choose whatever you want. The payment completed order will be the default status. Okay, or you can actually have a completed. It's up to you. The payment expired, I'm going to say, for example, failed or cancelled, it's up to you again. And declined, I'm going to say cancelled or actually failed. All right. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to press save. And this is all about, this is all you need to do to get started with phone day. So let's go back to the shop and let's have a look, for example, if we want to buy a product. I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to select one of the products. I'm going to add to cart. I'm going to view the cart. And as you can see, it's a subtotal of £35, shipping flat fee of £10, total £45. I'm going to proceed to checkout. Because I'm already logged in, so he knows that I gotta pay 10, otherwise it would be 15. Something that I have already, if I go back to the shippings, I already set the United Kingdom flat rate and the other locations flat rate. So if I go go here, edit, for example, this is the actual flat rate that I have created. So let's go back to the shop. So this is the uh already made uh, fill the details. I'm going to say who I am, Goose. I am in uh, 111 uh, Demo Street. Of course I am in Cardiff. Postcode ECF1. Find out the and the phone is zero seven seven five eight zero zero four zero zero four. Don't call this number because it's not mine. This is the actual email address. If it's not, and here I can actually uh, write any notes that I want. Once I'm happy, as you can see on the phone, my organic shop, the actual name that I wrote in the plugin, and the actual Mastercard and Visa logo. So I'm going to place the order. And here we go, we got the test merchant as you as you see here. Okay. Make sure that it's 45 pounds. And I'm going to pay the with the credit card. How can I get the test credit card? I'm going to the uh phone the test payment details. Here are some test card numbers, as you can see, and here the actual response type. So if I put this one here, for example, the card will be declined. This is all to actually test 
I also have a 3D Secure CCV2 and the expiry date. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to paste the number, uh, any months, any year, and any CCV2. Okay. And now I'm going to press check out the 45 pound GP. Now this is bank server emulation, just in case it's com uh, compatible with the 3D Secure. Uh, the 3D Secure is about if two-factor authentication, some bank use it, some bank don't use it. So I'm going to press continue. And as you can see, thank you for your order has been received. And this is all information. Of course, as you have already seen from my previous uh, tutorials, if you go to your account, you can actually have a look what you have orders as you can see the order here and I can actually view it all right so this is how simple the system works is it takes only a few minutes to uh, uh, to set up the plugin for WordPress so let's go back to the from the website so I'm going to explain a little bit the pricing structure so you can actually receive money from anywhere in the world as long as you are in uh, i think it's ukraine russia anywhere in europe really all right and these are the fees that you are going to pay before the ten thousand euros from fifty thousand to one hundred thousand and more than a hundred thousand euros per month so this is monthly okay this is not per year it starts at 1.8% plus 2 cents per transaction payment currents, I presume. For non European cards, it's 3.2% plus 0 0.2, in this case, 20 cents. And bank transfers uh, is 1.4% plus 20, uh, 20 cents. And here we go, it goes lower and lower up to, if you go over 100,000, you know, it's going to be individually. And of course, you can have a you know chat with them for best fees. So it's very simple, easy to use, and as I said earlier on, it's compatible with many different um, CRM and CMS and open you know e-commerce uh, open source applications. All right. I don't know why it's not the full list here. It's not still not working uh, the page has not been found but uh, trust me there are many different um open source even when it says wordpress as you seen it yourself earlier on there are several uh, plugins that are actually compatible so it's a great uh, plugin uh, for wordpress easy to use i presume they're also for the others open source and don't forget you know we're going to use it um, and I'm going to show you how to install for OpenCart. I'm going to show you how to use it for Magento, PrestaShop and all the rest. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. And as I said earlier on, don't forget to click on the uh, bell icon so you can be notified when I do new uh, tutorials on Fondi. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next tutorial. Bye.